on, Chi Chi. Please let go on, train. Please. Hey guys, Toshio Rai here, and today I'm back with another what if. Uh, well, actually, it's sort of a a redo of a previous what if, because yeah, got a lot of messages on Twitter saying that last time I tried to tackle this what if, I didn't really get to the point as quickly. Therefore, not a lot happened in the story, and so basically, we're gonna have another crack at it, and hopefully, fill in some of those gaps from what from what I apparently missed out on the last time. And what exactly is this? I'm even renaming the what if because I didn't really like the title the title of the previous version. And that is What if Chi Chi let Gohan train? But what are you talking about Ryan? Did Chi Chi let Gohan train? Sometimes, now I'm not talking about, you know, the occasional time she said yes in Dragon Ball Z. I'm talking about, I'm talking about from the very starts. Ever since Goku, you know, bought those training weights when he was born. But Ryan, there's no way that Chi-Chi would let Gohan train. The fact is, Chi-Chi wants Gohan to be a great scholar. There's no need for fighting, remember? And... Don't be so sure, I reckon that there was always a chance Chi Chi would have let Gohan train if Goku had been a little bit more persistent and a bit more forward with the point he was trying to make. Ah, oh, but Chi Chi, we live in the middle of the forest full of bloodthirsty hungry beasts. What if, uh, what if Gohan gets gobbled up? <gasps> no, not my baby, he's not going to get gobbled up, of course he can train, of course he can. You know? And just like that, Goku's able to convince Chi-Chi to allow Gohan training. But just to be clear, Goku, whenever he's not training, I want his nose in those books! So, it's, it's more of a compromise at this point, and because of that, Gohan is allowed to train with his father. Providing that he is also studying, which is probably good, because that'll provide Gohan a bit more of a balance in his life which will allow him to grow more confidence as he gets older and matures. And of course he can defend himself from those nasty hungry dinosaurs and tigers and things that live in the area. Really not exactly a safe place to raise a kid when you think about it. <laughs> and because of this Gohan's latent abilities are detected more earlier for by his father, and of course, this allows Goku to have quite an effective sparring partner, which prevents him from getting so soft, you know, prior to the um, arrival of Raditz, which is about to happen now. So during the course of this training, Gohan, being as naturally gifted as he is, is pretty much catching up to his father pretty quickly. They're pretty much, they're pretty much almost even in power. Goku's still being stronger, but it's providing a lot of benefit for the pair of them. And now they are off on their way to Master Roshi's for the big reunion, and everyone gets to meet everyone gets to meet my son Gohan. Okay, so they they arrive and they have that little bit of their their reunion, and me, but meanwhile, unaware that there is a nasty visitor on their way, that is of course Raditz, the long lost brother of Goku, and of course, just like in the original anime, he um, terrorizes that farmer, and of course has his little run in with Piccolo, and of course Piccolo being Piccolo tries to pick a fight with Raditz, not a very good idea. But, luckily for Piccolo, before Raditz um, does his little ha <laughs> ha, keep the, keep your eye on the birdie, Scouter goes off and he detects two more power levels off in that direction. This is of course Gohan and Goku on Roshi's Island. 
So naturally, Fuzz, hmm, maybe this is Kakarot. Uh, there can't be too many people with power levels similar to the Green Man. So yeah, we'll just we'll just go there and find out. Yes, I am telling the story in a bit more comedic fashion as a big Dragon Ball Z abridged fan as well. Like so, sort of a bit of a tribute to Dragon Ball Z abridged. That was a good show. Anyway, so Raditz is on his way to to Kame House. And the other, the other difference, the other difference to this story is that Chi Chi goes to Roshi's Island as well. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, Chi Chi is with Goku and Gohan as well. Except they're more on the Nimbus and Chi Chi's basically following, a lo following them along in a car. But rest assured, she is on the island too. And they're all having a big reunion. Because Chi Chi allow, uh, has allowed Gohan to train, she's a bit more open minded and more willing to see the rest of the the Z gang and have more interactions with them. And, you know, a, a, a more of a social life would be, be good for everyone. So, yeah, so this has already provided a bit of a change in Chi Chi as a character, as well as Gohan's already pretty sure of himself as a fighter. And, well, Goku definitely hasn't gotten soft. His power level is stronger than what it is in the original anime, for sure. So, so everyone's all chummy, having a good time, but almost all like, So, Gohan, what do you, what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, I, I want to be a great fighter like my dad, and also a great scholar. And, well, you know, it's all chummy, it's all happy. Then, suddenly, they sense dark energy approaching. Huh? What is that? This is energy I haven't sensed before. It it's... No, it's not Piccolo. It's, it's too cruel to be Piccolo. And then, all Reddit shows up. Ah, we finally meet Kakarot. I am your brother. You... And I and two others are the last of the Saiyan race. And that whole speech goes on. What? I... I don't have a brother. This is my home and I will defend it. And of course, Krillin gets slapped through the house just like the anime and a fight breaks out. However, this fight doesn't go at all like the original where Goku's pretty much just kicked in the stomach and... Raditz flies off with Gohan. Oh no, Raditz has got a fight on his hand, and just like in the original anime, Raditz is fooled by the power readings in his scouters. Because remember, Raditz has no idea that these Earthlings can suppress their power levels. And this isn't just... The fact of the matter is, with, Go with Goku's extra training with his son, now that Gohan's been allowed to train with him, Goku's power level is a lot more close to his brother's. Raditz is still the stronger one, but Goku's power level is a lot more closer, so it's a lot more closer fight. Plus, you got he's got Gohan helping him as well, who is basically on the same level as, as his father. This is not good for Raditz. Oh, I've been in a little more than I can chew here. But, it, you know, even Chi-Chi gets a shot in at Raditz in this. Get away from my son! Bam! In fact, here's a, here's a fan image for it, here. So yeah, he was to say, Raditz is not having a good day! And since they're still fighting on the island, Kame, Kame House is completely destroyed in the as collateral damage in this battle. Mm -hmm. Now, and again, Raditz is still the stronger one, and it does look like things are beginning to turn the table, turn the tables, on Goku and Gohan, and of course Chi Chi, who's basically been knocked out. But then, Raditz is hit from behind, from Piccolo, a big devastating blow to the back. Much like Piccolo does to Nappa in the 
in the original anime when he blo when he gives Nappa that really powerful blast in the back. Difference is, this does a lot more damage to Raditz, because remember Raditz is significantly weaker than Nappa for starters, and he was caught completely off guard. Raditz is down. Nearly dead, in fact. And... Raditz pretty much realizes the, en the end is near, so he's all like, my, my Saiyan brothers will avenge me. They will come. They will destroy you all. And the whole reveals that they will be here within a year's time. Now, the biggest difference here is that no one mentions the Dragon Balls, because remember, Goku did not have to sacrifice himself this time to destroy Raditz. He did not have to do that this time. So no one's mentioning the Dragon Balls, so... With Raditz and Nappa on the way to Earth, they have no idea the Dragon Balls exist. So with that in mind... And Piccolo, of course, just finishes Raditz's off when he's done talking and gloating that he's gonna be avenged. And of course, they are well aware that these two are a lot stronger than Raditz. Now comes to the point of what are they going to do in the meantime. Of course, they're going to start training. Now, Kami, overhearing everything, has decided Goku should go to the other world and train with King Kai. Big difference, of course, being Goku isn't dead. But being the guardian of Earth, Kami can arrange certain things that will allow Goku to go to the other world and receive King Kai's training. Regardless. Makes a closer king go, Oh, but Goku's our only hope. If you check his record, he's done the good, right thing his entire life. If you don't do this, that line back there is going to increase by six billion. <laughs> Alright, another, another tribute to Dragon Ball Z, a bridge there. Anyway, so... Goku's on his way, he's running along Snake Way to get his training from King Kai. Meanwhile, Piccolo, Gohan, and Chi Chi are training together. Because Piccolo, Piccolo saw Gohan's potential and thought it's, figures it's wise that Gohan continues his training with Piccolo. Chi Chi, not really wanting to have anything to do with Piccolo, realizes the threat and decides, alright, alright, fine, my son can train with you, but on one condition, I'm going with you too. Chi, Chi Chi, Chi Chi needs to be there to keep Piccolo in line to make sure he doesn't go too far, and Chi Chi has also decided that she's going to get some training in too, because, keep in mind, I, I do believe that if given the choice, Chi Chi would have joined the others on the battlefield, at the very least, to keep her son safe. But, because Piccolo in the original anime was all, taking Gohan, bye, and just trained him on his lonesome, it's not like they really gave Chi Chi that choice, but this time, because she's there and a part of the story, in this story, she actually has the choice. And, so she chooses to train with Piccolo and her son, in able to help repel the Saiyan invasion, but most importantly, keep her son safe. And the training between Gohan and Piccolo becomes a, and Chi Chi as well becomes a lot more fruitful, considering they all have battle experience. There's no leaving Gohan on alone for six months to, you know, learning how to survive and learning how to use his key or any anything like that because he already learnt that from his father during their training. So basically they're able to get straight into the training and just get going. Which is really which is really gonna increase their power level quite a lot. That that whole six months of Gohan surviving on his own doesn't happen. All it is is just one big power increase until the Saiyans arrive. And of course, much like in the anime Goku arrives on King Kai's planet and receives the training just like he does in the anime. And the whole rest of the Z Warriors training comes. Lookout goes exactly the same. 
all the way up until the Saiyans are right. Now, in the meantime, what does Chi Chi manage to learn? Now, granted, she's not as strong, she's not as strong as Gohan or Piccolo, but she has learned how to fly, and she can throw an energy attacks, and she's definitely going to be able to hold her hold her own. Say, you know, when the Cybermen's come into it. So this will be pretty interesting, I reckon. And I think that's where we're going to leave things for now. Until we're ready to hit part two. Remember, part two. Nappa and Vegeta arrive. Yay! We're coming to Earth! So that's where we're going to be leaving things for now. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope I managed to tell a better story this time than I did with my previous version of this What If. You know, we'll definitely be back with a part two. I'll tell you what, guys, do you actually fancy a poll right now? Um, alright, so, as we know, the Dragon Balls haven't been used because Goku didn't die, so what should the Dragon Balls be used for, do you reckon? To unlock everyone's latent potential? Much like, you know, how Guru does? Because I'm pretty sure the drag the Eternal Dragon Shenron can actually do that. I don't think that's beyond his power. Of course, if you vote for that... This will this could mean the overall survival rate of the Z warriors is greatly increased. Or should the wish be used to instantly transport Goku to the battlefield? Which will of course spell a lot of bad news for Vegeta and Nappa. So I'm gonna leave you with that. Have a bit of a think about it. Um I've left the poll in the video, so de definitely vote on that. And well the power is in your hands. Alright, I'll catch you later.